what we're all about. So wonderful stuff and lovely to have you all with us. Now, I want to hear from you. Let's not just do bland banter tonight. Let's do some serious chit chat about how you are, how you're coping, how you're dealing with things, ideas that we've got out there. So there we are. Very important as well. And thank you, do, thank you, do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great stuff. Now, I have the trusty Skype with us. If anybody wants to go on, Alistair Campbell, if you want to come on for a wee Skype, Scotty Dot McClure is the one. I would do that. And no, Scotty, the audience is perfect as, oh, sorry, the audio is perfect. I thought you said the audience is perfect. The audience is always perfect. But the audio is perfect. That's excellent. Because, as I say, maybe Gordon had his machine turned up a wee bit on the loud side last night. But if I'm talking too loud, do tell me. So they are very important. Because they obviously don't deal with the headphones when we're doing this. I don't have the old cans on. Fantastic stuff. And have you spread the word? Did everybody get their alerts to let them know that we are live? I'll just see what's happening here because we perhaps should get on and do a bit of sharing right away. Um, so there we go. Right, I'll just catch that little bit there, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, do a little bit of sharing very, very quickly, just to let everybody know. Ah, I can see what's happened. Sorry, I'm just having a wee kick over the top there, just kicking over the top just to see what's going on there. Fantastic stuff. And welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us and you're an alien life form from another planet, you're wondering what on earth's happening. I'm Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and of course, the world's most humble man. We know that, though, don't we? We know that already. Did you get your alert with the rose-colored picture? Well, it is a rose, actually. It's the rose from the gardens at McClure Towers. Fantastic stuff there. If anybody has got any advice about um, the best little computers to have, don't mention any propriety names, but you can tip me the wink maybe in a message or something like that. Because what I'm thinking about for the winter, phone in. Oh, how good would that be? Fantastic. And uh, get back to normal, I say. Whatever normal is. Remember that when somebody asked uh, Prince Charles and the Pr Diana, Princess of Wales, when they, were, they got engaged, are you in love? And he goes, yes, whatever love is. <laughs> Fantastic. Have you ever experienced actual love, guys? Do you know what love actually is? So I'm just going to tap in live now. Um, sorry about all this cloak and dagger stuff looking around the corner. Too many devices, too many things going on here. And uh, I think when you've got that, you've got to improvise, haven't you? Improvise. But McClure's always improvised, you know. 50,000 hours of live, unscripted broadcasting and television or radio. That's the way to go. That's what we like. Wonderful. Oh, that's what you all appear to like. Anyway, it's certainly gone down very well over the last 29 years. Can you believe it? We're in our 29th year of Scotty McClue's Nightline. The mega phone in. Right, I'm just going to post now. Let everybody know that we have gone live and they can come and join us here on YouTube. Um, I see the panic buying has started, Scotty. I did say it would in a couple of weeks. I don't know why there's panic buying, Frank. I don't understand it because the shops have made it quite clear there's not going to be any shortage I just think people are very, very silly. You know, I've had a lot of argy barges today with um, people over the royal family doing the nut, um, you know, because somebody said that they may need some money just to help um, the royal family over the difficult period of COVID and things like that. Now, I don't know if it's fake news or if it's genuine, but the reactions from people have been absolutely shocking, the way they seem to perceive the royal family. Oh, they've got money, they're so rich. Well, they don't understand anything about how the state works in this country and that uh, the royal family are virtually self-financing, of course. 
So there we are, self-financing. And um, Her Majesty the Queen's office and the office of the heir to the throne, Prince of Wales, they're virtually self-financing. And they bring in fortunes in tourism and trade. So we need to think about that. Excellent stuff. Now, I'm 